Proud Mary is a new action film uh, starring Tri-G P. Henson. And while it's really great to see more uh, action films led by women, honestly, this film is incredibly mediocre. And I wouldn't recommend it. So a lot of the marketing and even the beginning of the film was very reminiscent of you know the old uh, black exploitation films, but once you actually get into the movie, there's really no, no even note of that, you know, other than that most of the characters are black. It's not it doesn't have that gritty sort of craziness, that pulpy thing that those movies had, like at all. It's really just a generic action film. And, uh, you know, that, it's just, I don't know. And it's the relationships between uh, Taraji P. Henson and the kid, uh, Jolly D. Alo Winston. Like, oh, it's, it's called Danny. But, I mean, it's okay. It's just, it's kind of awkward. But, like, you know, at the beginning of the movie, Proud Mary, you know, she is like a, a assassin for a big gang. And she killed this guy for some reason, and she realizes that his kid is in the back playing video games with headphones on. And she leaves, and then she, like, tries to keep an eye on him. And when he sees that he's being abused by a drug dealer, you know, she takes him out and, you know, takes the kid in. And that sets off a series of events that will have her murdering hundreds of people... In relatively generic ways, like the actual gunplay is just fine. You know, it's, there's no impact to it. Like I, when I watched it, I couldn't help but think, "Man, I wish that this movie was in the John Wick universe. And if this movie was in a John Wick universe and maybe filmed by the same people that do John Wick, this could be a really fun and awesome movie." But you know, because it's filmed by uh, Babak Najafi. It's just not very good. I mean, it's not a horrible movie. I mean, there's nothing that is really bad about it. I mean, it's, everything is serviceable. But it's just... Like I said, it's incredibly generic. Like, I mean, it's... it's like, I, I never really in, had a lot of fun with it. And there are parts of it were kind of boring. But then, the, like, the big gun battles... Like, I should have been, like, balls to the wall. I should have been having fun with it. But they weren't really that fun. Like, she, like, shoots, like, hundreds of people, but it's always, like, bang, 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 bang. Like, it's not, there's no impact to it. There's no, like, fun to it. It's just, I don't know. The acting is fine. The dialogue and the writing is pretty mediocre to bad. And, you know, the filming is okay, but it's just, it's uninspired. Like, I mean, I, I went to see it, but I was kind of curious. You know, because there wasn't that much marketing for it, and I saw her on the hot ones, and I thought, you know, that she was really funny on that, and I liked Roger B. Henson, so I got, I thought I'd give it a shot before it left the theater, and I just, I wouldn't recommend it. Like, uh, like if you, uh, when it uh, probably will hit home pretty quick, but it's probably gonna be leaving theaters, but if you see it on Netflix or something, that it wouldn't be a bad watch. You know, you put it on the background and watch it. But I wouldn't really highly recommend it. I wouldn't recommend you go out of your way to see it. I'd probably give like a 6.5 out of 10. Like it's nothing horrible. It's just mediocre. But uh, thanks for watching. You should get other video playlists on my head. Or subscribe to me over here. Thanks.